One of the players involved, Raytheon. Now, this is important too. People need to understand the foxes are running the hen house. Raytheon is up to their eyeballs in weather modification. Raytheon does all the weather modeling for the National Weather Service and the National Oceanic Administration. I'd like to uh, welcome you all here. You can't let this opportunity pass without remarking on a couple of things. I come from the tribes, and we, we are in support of anyone that understands their relationship to the earth and to the land. And we see what's happening to the farmers. You're the new Indians. They will drive you off your land, but the Calvary is a banker now. It's a mortgage. And they talk about giving $3.4 billion to the Soviets, and I think they should give it here. And let, let the multinational corporate state invest in the Soviet Union, because that's who wants to make the profit. The other thing, I'm from the tribes. And a terrible thing happened in Waco, Texas. There is no excuse, there is no rationalization for doing what was done to those people in that house. And we, as human beings, have to understand it's not about money, it's about human life. And if the money means this much to America that they will justify what has happened to these people as something having to do with democracy, then listen to the sound of the Nazi boots. Listen. I like to talk in honor of the earth which is a very sacred place, and it is the only place that we have. I would like for people to understand that our Mother Earth is the female manifestation of the creation, and that we must show proper respect to her. We cannot show the proper respect to the women. We cannot show the proper respect to the elders. We cannot show the proper respect to the children. We cannot show the proper respect to ourselves if we ignore our Mother Earth. We are not talking about any political solution. We are not talking about politics at all. We're talking about survival. Our survival will be guaranteed by our, us, the human people, accepting our responsibilities and honoring the earth and all of the natural world of which we are a part. There are natural laws that we must honor and we must obey those natural laws. This is the only way we can show the rightful honor to the earth. We must remember that the earth is the source of all of our life. The earth takes care of us while we are alive in this form and the earth takes us back when we have departed to the spirit world. We must remember the earth. We must remember our spiritual, real power connection to the earth. We are an extension of the spirit of the mother earth. This is our source of power, not the economics, not the politics, not repressive government, not liberal government. Our source of power is us and our spiritual connection to the earth and our recognition of that. We are talking about our survival. The human people are in a real serious situation today because there are bad people in the world and these bad people have exploited our lives for many, many years and they have every intention that they are going to continue to exploit our lives even in the process of destroying us and themselves. We must accept our responsibilities and stop these bad people from doing these things to us and to our mother, the earth. And I thank you for your time.